Good day, friends. Maloa here, and today we are carrying on with Yondershire Part 9. Let's go! Alright, so today we need to go find Lotho Sackville Bagginses between Needle Hole and Yondershire. And the quest is called Better. Bitter Bounds. Okay, there's the ring. I'm gonna set that as my quest guide focus. So I can cut across country. Save some time. What am I drinking, you might ask? A cup of red tea. Oh, here's the wall again. Both those bounders. Hmm. Here's Adamanda. I also have her rope, so I may as well give her her rope. Welcome back, friend. My, you look like you have been busy. What took you so long? You explained the tasks Anson had you complete, Adamanda Kafas. He made you do what? That Anson is the laziest hobbit I know. I paid for that rope last week. Brought down a fine buck that I traded to him. And he has you running around doing a full day's work. She laughs again, shaking her head and wiping tears from the corners of her eyes. And have some tea. Amanda's laughter fades to a chuckle and she clears her throat, trying to hide her smile. Now that we have the rope, we can move on to the next step in my grand plan. We need a net. Take the rope to Ramza Twelling in Gamwich and have her make us a net, will you? I'm going to follow these tracks a ways and we will meet further along the trail. There's Fredegar, Bulger, and Lotho Sackville Baggins. Looks like they're ready to fight. What do you want? Hello, what's this you have here? Lotho scowls at you. Do you think waving this list of names in my face is going to change my mind? The old bounds worked fine, back when the West Farthing and the North Farthing ended where they should. You who needs Yondershire? to be a part of the Shire. Not I, and not anyone leastways not any good solid hobbits. You peculiar folk, listen up. We need to change the bounds so we can keep the Shire proper safe. Either you move, or you're not in the Shire anymore. It's that simple. There's no point trying to discuss it, and your yonder watch hasn't got any say in the matter. In fact, I'm sending my own personal bounders into the yonder Shire to make sure nobody tries tampering with the proper bounds. Ha! Fredegar. I won't let you get away with this, Lotho. Fredegar takes a deep breath and calms down slightly before speaking to you in a hushed tone. Iloa, I have a plan. There is a Yonder Watch storehouse not far from here, and it's become something of a secret hideout for me and my friends. Meet me there as soon as you are able. Fredegar turns back to Lotho. Until next time, Lotho. You haven't seen the last of us. Alright, let's go to the secret hideout cave. Um, better bounds. That's that ring there. No stable. It's just gonna hoof it. the mountain the range there I think I'm gonna take the road I'll swing around south <laughs> I'm still riding my boar in the water that's funny oh I need to kill some things along the way 
that other quest that I'm looking to do. Eating shoes. Okay. Another level one forty. <laughs> People like me just in, out for a Saturday afternoon stroll, enjoying the, the yonder shire. can get up here. Don't really know what I need, I'm just killing everything until the quest is done. Predicar is already formulating a plan to deal with Lotho. A lovely day, isn't it? You made it! That Lotho has never been much for discussion, and he's only gotten worse with age. Unfortunately for him, we've only gotten smarter and more serious, haven't we? Hello there. Might I speak with you a moment? If the Yonder Watch hopes to outwit Lotho and his bounders, they are going to need some supplies, and I just have have just the things. I need you to bring these supplies to the bounders in Long Cleave. Whatever you do, don't get caught by Lotho's bounders. Okay, so I gotta avoid the bounders now. And where am I? Oh, I gotta pick up the supplies, I guess. Oh, okay, satchel. I'm going to Okay, I won't be able to get on the horse. Where's long watch? We're doing the long cleave run. I don't know if this is the way up. I'm hoping it is. <laughs> Gotta keep an eye out for Lotho's bounders.
to be careful now. Make sure there's no Lotho Bounders here. Sneaking in the back way. This is just what we needed. Hello there. Thank you for these supplies. Fredgara has been of tremendous help to our cause. While I have you here, would you mind assisting me with something? There is a man named Bill Fernie lurking about near here, and I suspect he is up to no good. His presence will bring to frighten, begin to frighten the children before long. So shoo him away, with force. Mm, we've run into Bill Fernie before. Is loitering by the gate. What is this world coming to? I'll go where I please and do what I please, and anyone who stands in my way is going to pay for it. Oh, looks like we're gonna have to fight him. You taught him a lesson, but will it stick? Okay, now I gotta go all the way back to Fred. Take a stable to Gam, which and I'll tell you why. There's a mountain reach here, and I don't feel like going around. How do you do? Oh, I should kill some more stuff. How do you do? Hmm, I do not know this bull Fernie. Do you think he might be in league with Lotho? No, I doubt it. Lotho might be a sour-faced fellow, but he's still a hobbit. And I can't imagine he'd have anything to do with this Fernie fellow. Good day. Might I have a word? The Underwatch does not yet have enough supplies to deal with the presence of so many of Lotho's bounders. How about you bring some supplies to No Bottle? Whatever you do, don't get caught by Lotho's bounders. I will find you there later. Once I have completed a few more of my preparations, my plan is still coming together. But when it does, it will be something else. Trust me. Okay. Heading to No Bottle.
Since we are on a timer here, it's usually the safest to cut across country. But it's also wise to know where the mountain ranges are, so that you don't waste time having to run around the mountain. gotten dark outside, hasn't it? Let's see, it is evening time now. Ah! Uh. Uh. I run by- I ran by a bounder. I wasn't paying attention. Dang it, now I gotta go back. I don't know if there was an eye on my mini screen, but I got so distracted from nighttime <laughs> that I didn't keep an eye out for the silly bounder. Sickle flies and wolves. I just need sickle flies and wolves. I just need sickle flies and I'm not in the area for sickle flies so I may as well jump on my mount. I hope I can find this hut again. the other way. Still the no bottle run. <laughs> you now have to keep a very close eye out so I don't run into any more bounders because I don't want to have to do this a third time. Buggers. Wolf. But here is where I got caught the uh, last time. I don't see any. Oh, hang on. Okay, no, that's just a harvest fly. True. Harvest fly. There's the bounder. Get away, get away, get away, get away. I'll oh, see, there's an eye over there. Okay. Oh, 
Another eye. Let's go this way. Cut across water. There we go. Yay, I did it. What do you need? Thank you for these supplies. I confess that I was suspicious of Mr. Bulger when he arrived, but he has proven to be a good friend to the Underwatch. While I have you here, would you mind assisting me with an urgent matter? Some man named Harry Goatleaf is lurking about near here. I was hoping you might confront him and send him on his way. That concludes today's adventure. Please hit the like and subscribe button to not miss an episode. Thanks for watching.